And then uh, bytes per sample. So this is a short um, bytes per sample. And then um, bits per sample. Right? And I have here in my notes that it's um, the bits per sample determines the quality of the sound. So pretty much if you're going to be using one or two bytes to for the um, when you're loading the actual data. <coughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and just type it in fread and um, was it format type size of short one file pointer read and um, so next one is channels size of short and uh, I'm sure you guys can probably do this more efficiently if you want but it you know it won't be as um, clean or whatever so it'll be harder to understand when you look back at it um, next one is the sample or uh, the sample rates so f read and sample rate size of D word is one of them and it's a file pointer at the end average bytes per second is the next so average bytes per sec size of D word one and file pointer um, the next one is um, bytes per second right uh, that's 16 bits, so f read and um, bytes per sec size of short. There's one of them and file pointer. And I, let's see. Sorry, bits per sample, bytes per sample. And then the last one here, whoops, <coughs> freed and um, um, bits per sample size of short one and file pointer right then we have our next constant string so uh, we just do f read type size of character for fp right then go if not string compare type and then should be data in lower cases and then we go return end with error error um, not missing data something like that right So uh, to double check, just um, you know, add all of uh, <coughs> all of the sizes up. So got four, 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 four. That makes five fours, making twenty. Um, here we got four in total. Two plus two, right? Um, twenty-four plus this. Um, sorry, twenty-four plus eight, right? That's um, 32 or whatever, right? And plus 2 or whatever. Oh, God. I've confused myself. Oh, yeah. And then your last 4 are here. So we're missing the size now, the bytes, um, the data size. D word, um, data size. Um, and data size size of D word um, one file pointer right so uh, to read the data or to load it or whatever um, you can put it in um, I guess a byte or whatever um, you're probably not going to want to use the typed f or, or using a typed f right 
for uh, bytes, which would be unsigned character because or whatever it's called um, sorry uh, type def unsigned character byte um, this would be the equivalence of making a byte in um, C sharp uh, the only problem with this is though that we're using sound and um, sound has both po both positive and negative numbers right um, so I'm not like I said uh, I'll have to sh uh, do this uh, tutorial on this part later but I'm still trying to figure this out, but I believe that um, with an 8-bit sample, you're using an 8-bit integer, which is not unsigned, or an 8-bit character, or whatever. <clears throat> I guess if you want, you could use characters. Anyway, um, I'll go through that t later on. But uh, to do that part, to do the last part, you pretty much just go fread um, your data or whatever you want to hold the data in. Then you just go um, uh, one or whatever, depending on <clears throat> depending on uh, your bits uh, sample, your bit rate or whatever it is, bits per sample, and then your count would be. Um, where is it? Data size. Right? Um, if, if your, uh, bits or whatever, your bits per sample is, um, 16, that would be 2 bytes, and then you'd have to divide that by 2 or whatever, right? Um, I'll show you guys that a bit more on that later and how to play the sounds. For now, let's just make it output the header information. <coughs> So uh, let's say chunk size. Oops. And I'm just gonna copy this over and over. So uh, we got format type, um, channels, um, let's see, sample rate. Um, average oops, bytes per second um, then bytes per sample And then finally, bits per sample. Right, and I'm just going to get rid of that. And then uh, if you really want, you can make a whole wait command or whatever. I'm just going to do um, while sin.get sound equal whoops 10 right and if you really want press enter to end <coughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in a release version and a build solution and I'm going to find a WAV file. Uh, let me check this. I'm not sure if this is a good WAV file to use because the format might be a bit off. 
Uh, let's try this one. 3.74 megs. So I'm just gonna copy this here. Oops. Okay. And um, it loads the test.wav file. Let's open it up. And there you go, uh, chunk size 16, channels 2, sample rate 4, 4, 10, right? That looks right. Average bytes per second. That looks really high. But then again, it is like a 5 megabyte file that's um, 34 seconds long. Byte per sample and then bits per sample. I'm not so sure about this bytes per sample anyway. Um, I have to look into it a bit more, but, you know, it was supposed to be bits per sample divided by 8 or whatever, which uh, isn't this in the case, so, um, like I said, there isn't much uh, information on this sort of thing. Hopefully this, got, this will give you guys uh, an idea, and tomorrow I should um, have another video posted up showing you guys how to actually work with the data how to load it and whatever. <clears throat> if you guys are just looking for um, a simple way to play a sound, um, let's go prag uh, comments um, lib uh, crap, one sec. I'm just going to open up another project here. I'm, you know, too lazy to remember how so yeah, so uh, pragma comments um, library winmm.lib, right? <clears throat> then you just do play sound, put in the file name test.wave or whatever, null and whatever. So I'm just gonna show you how that it works. So there you go, plays that wave file. Anyway, this is Hot Noob. Come check out my blog, and tomorrow I'll have some uh, updates on this sort of stuff.